Many people and scientists say that since billions of galaxies and stars are trillions of miles away, our universe and planet Earth must be billions of years old for light to have traveled this great distance. The answer to how we can see stars and galaxies that are trillions of miles away have already been answered in the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 through 2 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Light did not take trillions of years to travel from one side of the universe to the other. Light was everywhere in an instant. God had not yet created the stars and the sun, but light filled up the entire universe. After God formed the earth and divided the land and the sea, God created living plants and trees of various kinds containing fruits and seeds. Even though God is forming the earth, light is still present everywhere. Genesis chapter 1 verse 14, And God said, Let there be lights in the expanse of the heavens to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs for seasons and for days and years. Genesis chapter 1 verse 16, And God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, and the stars. Genesis chapter 1 verse 17, And God set them, meaning the stars, in the expanse in the heavens to give light on earth. In the expanse of the heavens refers to the entire universe that was created to hold all galaxies, solar systems, nebulas, and stars. To give light on Earth implies that these lights can already be seen on Earth. 